Hi, this is Shadi. Today we're going to be looking at military kendo weapon based martial arts, how they train them uh, in the Imperial Army and also we're going to look at the police way of competing with several examples. So here you see the footage from I would say around the 1930s. It is far less refined but far more effective. They had far more options in terms of winning and scoring. Now today they limit them to several targets and you have to attack them accordingly but it looks far more refined and far more aesthetic but it is a bit removed from self-defense and the battlefield now that's not to say that it's not effective but it's far less than what it used to be so here you can see people lose their weapon they clinch they try to take each other down they also use different weapons so one was holding the bayonet as you can see and the other one was holding a short sword or the the blade of uh, the bayonet that you actually put on the rifle so there's conflicting theories about that but nonetheless it's a short sword and one was carrying a rifle and the spear of it so another one here is you see the short sword against the long sword so this is what is called Ishu Jiai so you have Tan Kendo, Ju Kendo and Kendo they all compete against each other here for example is the long sword against the bayonet or the rifle with the blade at the tip of it and they help you train against people with different reach with different speed and against different stances so let's take a look at a far more recent example this is from the ju kendo world you have one with the bayonet and one with the sword so the sword has far less reach but more speed and more i would say mobility uh, but the rifle is far less limited but with a far more reach so it's slower but with a more reach as you see he struck the torso now here he struck, strikes the head with the sword and as you can see these different formats were practiced uh, within the army when they competed against uh, each other and they even went down to the ground and there are reports where they would remove the men or the protective gear and strike each other with the weapon so here also you can play guard so as you saw he blocked the knee as he was charging towards him and then hurling him over it this is what it's called in judo as hiza guruma or a knee wheel so you have to have a really big pull or someone charging at you and then you go to the side to, to leave them room to go over and blocking the knee uh, also here just how brutal it used to be now you have this side control but look he grabs the protective gear and pulls him down as he goes down on his knees and throws him or drops him uh, forward this is a far less graceful way of doing uki otoshi or a floating drop here it is done with the sleeve and the lapel obviously in judo this is far less done because it is a very well-timed throw but if you can grab the hair if you can grab the protective gear of the head you can easily do it or you can just simply do it from the clinch now let's go to far more recent examples you see this police kendo competition he blocks with the sword in one way and then sweeps with the other so the sword pushes to the left while the foot sweeps to the right creating a wheeling motion and it is just great now if they would add foot sweeps to kendo like what it is today it would still be a great martial art so this is what is called as deashi harai or advancing foot sweep so the foot that's in the front it is swept but in kendo what you do with the hands is obviously different instead of swaying with your hands the direction of the sweep you actually push with the sword and your hands opposite direction so you can create a wheel and makes the sweep far easier and less reliant on a timing here is another one where he kind of like destabilizes with the sweep as it did not work their immediate reaction is to tiptoe to the back quickly and from there you can strike the head again a great usage of sweeps and weapons combined um, kendo with sweeps i would say it's one of the best martial arts 
if practiced with judo, you can create a very good, uh, how do you say, well balanced you know, fighter, you know, has great reaction, uh, speed, and attacks from really the core, because that's what they teach you in kendo is truly, you know, do the kiai, you're really screaming it and you are just really lashing it out. It's not a half hearted attack. So here is again, you see the sword goes to the left while the sweep goes to the right. Now, that's not to say that regular kendo is not effective. It's still very dangerous. And look here, the throat protector did not protect her and it struck her throat just without any protection. And if that happened to me, I wouldn't be able to speak for like a month. So just look how many steps she takes back and then just collapses more close up. You see the throat protector, just it went right through it and just absolutely finished her off. So this is very reminiscent of those old Kumi Uchi that we see. So they lose their weapon or they get too close and they clinch, take each other down. And then with a short sword or a short weapon, they finish each other on the ground. It's like the old Kendo, but you see in the 1930s example, it's more of a recent, at least to them, example. So you have the rifle and you have the short sword. It's indicative of the era. So they can still lose their weapon. They can still clash. They can still clinch and go to the ground. And from there, you need to have your short weapon to finish them off. For example, if you lose your rifle and you get to the clinch, you need another weapon. Obviously, that's not the only weapon that you're going to be holding. So it's kind of good to see it evolve in the sense that it is adapted to the weapons of the era. Uh, I talked about this recently with the with the people that try to reach out for the sword of the policeman, but now they reach out for other, other weapons and it should uh, evolve accordingly. I've discussed Kumi Uchi and Aikido and Aikijutsu in the past, and this is very similar, but it's nice to see it you know, more modern and with different choice of weapons. So if you have anything else to add, please let me know down below. Also consider supporting me on Patreon for exclusive content. Uh, I post there about once a week. Your support would mean greatly to keep this content evolving and uh, growing. And if you are a Kendoka and have competed in Kendo, please let me know your thoughts in the description. I'm sorry, in the comments down below. This was Shadi and as always, thank you for listening.